my channel doing makeup right and I took my first break from doing makeup and I kind of mentioned when I came back that like I was going through something and I don't know if I said it but like it was with court you know it was with the courts so I was going to court for something but y'all it got wrapped up I'm so happy I'm so happy y'all that was all the way back in 2020 and um i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all like i had got a dui back in 2020 so i and it was bad i totaled my car i used to have a jeep patriot i have a kid now i had totaled my car and i love that car bruh i think about it every day i love that car i wish I, I if i could still have that car right now i would i loved it so much but i had totaled it thank god i did not hurt anybody but um where this would been this would have went completely different but yeah, I had told him my car and yeah, I've been going to court for two years. Really cause um, that was the first time I had gotten in trouble at all and no one knew what to do. Like, cause I had blew too high. Like my alcohol content was way too high to um, get the diversion plan, which is like, it's basically being on probation, but you don't, you don't get it on your record. And that's all I wanted. I wanted my record to stay clean. So, everybody was trying to give me the diversion plan. But, you know, the judge kept saying, you blew too high, you can't do it. Blah, blah, blah. So, I ended up having to get it appealed. And they finally gave it to me. So, I am now on the diversion plan. I'm so happy. Um, I'm on it for a year. So, but, um. I'm on color co code, so uh, I have to call every day to see if they call my color. Then I have to go pee for them, get drug tested, and um, do community service hours, AA meetings, you know, stuff like that. So it's a lot, but I'm very, very happy to just be done with this and to still have a clean record. Like, it's nothing but blessings from God. So. I am so happy and you know I'm not supposed to be you know drinking for real so I'm gonna be way more focused because honestly I did not realize how much my life like revolved around alcohol till this like literally my friends that's all we do <laughs> that's all we do is get together and drink um so yeah I'm just excited to be sober and have be focused and Get all these things done that I wanted to get done, so. Mm. Y'all know this is one of my Starbucks drinks. So this is a, uh, this is a caramel ribbon crunch. But sometimes I get caramel, just a caramel frappe. 
add java chips and add three espresso shots on top so it's um avogad avogado style avogacho style something like that so it's a little bitter and sweet like it's like real sweet and then you get a hit of the bitterness because i like it better on top than like just mixed in because you get a little shot of like espresso <laughs> You get a Jota Espresso. But yeah. But yeah, y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Like, I just feel like everything's falling into place. Like, I feel like this is what I needed to, like, because I'm trying to get, you know, the career going. I need to get into a good career where I'm making good money so I can get a good apartment. Y'all, so let's talk about this. How about, what's up? Because. It's been driving me insane. The fact, if y'all saw my apartment tour, it's been driving me insane. My laundry situation. I don't have a washer or dryer hooked up, and then the laundry room is like right next to me, but their laundry room sucks. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the bank. I'm over here talking. Damn. Oh, I gotta eat turkey. But yeah, the uh, the laundry room is right next to me, but. The, the dryer it like doesn't dry the whole load of clothes unless it's like five pieces of clothing i won't say five six or seven pieces of clothing so i'm like bro i need a washer dryer so i was looking around looking around and then the prices was just like crazy so i was just like okay let me just look into this complex and see if they got a unit that has a washer and dryer hookup that I can do. Right. Why I go on there and my apartment says it's $200 more than what I'm paying right now. What? I think is this, is this is correct. Is this wrong? What, what is going on? So I'm looking like, hold on, y'all, I got the future. <laughs> Ooh, baby. You are dangerous. You are dangerous. This lady always hit me. Watch it, baby. But y'all, I was flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. I don't even want to tell y'all how much i'm paying but it's a fair price it's a fair price baby why are y'all going up 200 dollars? that don't make no sense to me sorry y'all i don't have my tripod so i'm having to do all this crazy stuff all right i'm gonna make this deposit real quick i'll be right back with y'all okay <laughs> all right sorry y'all like i said this was i don't have my tripod this was kind of spurred the moment that i picked up my my camera and just started recording because i've been missing y'all and i'm so excited like i need to get back into you know youtube and doing my stuff you feel me Ugh. but anyway sorry what was i saying what was i talking what was i talking about oh the apartment okay like i said i don't i don't even want to tell y'all what i was paying but because baby it was cheap it was cheap okay it was a very fair price because like i said i went through everything that that place don't don't have i don't have a dishwasher i don't have garbage disposal i didn't have a microwave i did not wa have washer and dryer hookup that place did not not have anything okay and they're going to to up two hundred dollars two hundred dollars like of course all these apartments are doing that but it's just the nerve of some of these apartments because uh, these places are not worth this much y'all and it's like i don't know life is just getting hard because what like okay my my pay is not going up you know what i mean like all of a sudden we can't afford 
the bare minimum like what <laughs> you know what like you know like it's like everybody is poor now you feel me like this little rinky dink apartment i can't afford it no more not even that i can't afford it because i can definitely afford it but i'm not paying that to have nothing I have nothing in there. That's what I'm saying. Like somebody, somebody, like it just don't make no sense. It just don't make no sense. Like, cause I saw this other apartment, and it's a studio. It's a studio. Y'all know what that means, right? It's like the bed is in the living room. Your bedroom is your living room. It is your kitchen, type shit. Nine hundred dollars. Why? Why is it that much? Why is it that much? That don't make no sense to me. Like, somebody make it make sense. And it's just like, I'm just gonna have to be rich. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to be rich. Cause no, I'm not living like this. <laughs> Oof. That shit just blew me. That shit blew me. I was like, why the hell? Would I pay that much for this apartment? Cause I already know what they finna do. I already know what they finna do. They finna, yeah, this is your renewal. Um, we're gonna be going up to this much um, because of this, that, and the third with the the um, economy. Uh, yeah, I don't have time. I don't be like, bitch, you have lost your mind. And I really don't get this because, like, you know, they have to go through this whole approval process of if you can afford the apartment. But then you're allowed to bring my rent up $200. But that doesn't make any sense to me. I feel like I should take legal action. You know what I mean? I don't know. I didn't even tell y'all what I'm doing. I'm just out and about, like, shopping and whatnot. I have a, a little a little, a little money right now. Um. Because I honestly need some clothes. <laughs> Parking. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, so I guess I'm going to be moving again. Another moving adventure. Which is kind of sad because, you know, I was really getting, like, you know, attached to my little apartment. But like I said, I was going to, I was going to move anyway just to, just a, at least to another unit. Because I remember when I first looked at, because I was rushing when I moved into the apartment. Y'all remember, I, I said I didn't even see the apartment first before I moved in. So, I literally was just, like, <laughs> trying to find the quickest, cheapest thing that was available. You, you feel me? Because I was so determined to live by myself. That was the thing. I was feeling like I was gonna have to like live with people again. And I was like, oh, I wanna live by myself, I wanna live by myself. So yeah, I had rushed into that. I can definitely afford a higher rent at this point, but I want what I want. Like, I don't want to pay a higher rent and still have what I have now. Like, no. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna be searching for that. But I, I have a lot, you know, I have months before I'm I'm looking for an apartment. But it was just funny that I saw that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna shop. I'm at Rainbow. I'm gonna look at some stuff. Um I wanna go to Bed Bath and Beyond. I got a few things I still need for my house. Like I need a vacuum. I need a vacuum so bad my carpet i be having to sweep my carpet it's just annoying but yeah y'all i'll check back in later probably i'm gonna shop a little bit but again it's nice to see you guys Ooh, ain't no that that's eczema bro why my friend told me um is marcus hurting you and that's my boyfriend is he hurting you i'm like bro this is eczema that was a bruise but yeah, y'all, I'll check back in with y'all later. Hey guys, I made it back home. As you can see, I now have my tripod. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just did a little shopping, that's all. I'm gonna quickly go through what I got. It wasn't that much. For real, for real. Um, oh, 
really do have to count. Let me show you how many I got. So rainbow. I'm down. <laughs> there. So y'all rainbow had like leggings for literally seven, eight, nine dollars. So your girl got some leggings. And I, I'm, I love leggings. And y'all know leggings are expensive. Like, good leggings are expensive. So, I got these gray ones. They were from, they were, uh, these are nine. They are good. Some good little material. I think a lot of these are like polyester. You know. Oh, this is 92% cotton. 8% spandex. These, these are some good leggings, okay? Um, I love these. These remind me of one of my favorite leggings I used to have. These are... So this is 88% polyester and 12% spandex. Yeah. I love these. These feel like they're going to be so comfortable. So comfortable. Of course, ideally you want cotton because of course you want her to be able to breathe, but you know, I'll take what I can get, baby. Oh, I got a couple um couple maxi dresses. Yeah. Y'all know I love some maxi dresses. I just need some like, you know, stuff to just throw on. Stuff like this. Like just to throw on, you know, uh throw on uh errands with to be cute, you feel me? Cause like, I, I just, I have a lot of, I'm an outfit girl. Like I have a lot of outfits, a lot of dressed up fits, but I don't have a lot of like lounge wear. Like I have a lot of sweatpants, but I need like tops and stuff, you know? But the only reason I grab so many leggings right now, well, I didn't need leggings anyway. I definitely need the leggings, leggings, but, um, only reason I grabbed so many leggings instead of tops is because, you know, like I said, they were on sale. So, I had to grab these. But these are $9. Oh, what were these? The black ones I just showed. Oh, the black ones I just showed were 11 So, those are kind of expensive. But I don't really, I don't really care because those are good leggings. And like I said, y'all, when I tried to look up the ones like that were like the black leggings, because the ones I had, they were just like these. And they were they were literally the color of the gray ones though. They were just like these, so comfortable. But when I tried to look up the brand and get those leggings again, I kid you not, they were like forty dollars on the website. I was like, what? So I think my mom had got them at uh, she used to work at Dillers um, part time, um, and I think she had got them with her uh, her discount on sale, girl. Girl, ridiculous. But these are were nine dollars. They're all green. They also have a little pocket on the side over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I got these too. Y'all know I love me some cargo pants, so I got me a little some cargo pants, some nice and flowy. I love flowy stuff. Makes me feel like I'm thin. <laughs> but um, I actually am starting to exercise again. Slowly, slowly but surely. I've literally started doing like cardio squats in the morning, like a few. Like literally until my legs get tired until I can't go no more and then I stop. <laughs> but I've I've started to do it every morning, so hopefully my legs will build up and I'll start to do, you know, more. You know, you gotta ease into it. But um this is my other little maxi dress. It's from they both have slits in the back, so that's supposed to be the back. But yeah, my cute, you know, like my uh long gray one I had in my other video. But yeah, that's all I got from Rainbow, you know, nothing too crazy. 
definitely got what I wanted. I love me some leggings. So I also went to Ulta. Mm -hmm. Yes, probably got some makeup. Which honestly, I didn't get nothing new. I really just re-upped on some stuff. So I really like this Morphe um, setting spray. So I got some more of this. Um, I got the big size of the Fix Plus because I don't know where I've been, but I, I I tried the little mini one, loved it, so I got a regular size Fix Plus. And I got NYX liner. I've been needing a black liner. So I got some NYX. This is the only thing new I got is um a Fenty a Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. And I got it in 480. I swatched this, watched this, watched this, watched this, watched. Hopefully this works for me. Um it was given contour. It was given contour, so I'm I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna do it like right here. I was trying to find a bronzer one. Cause I really wanted the matchstick, but when I was watching the matchstick and just trying to like blend it out, every time I blended it, it would like completely like disappear on me. Like, like I did a couple colors and it, they both like completely disappeared on me. So I was just like, okay, maybe just matchsticks are not for me. Cause I don't want to have to to get some to show up on me. But um, yeah. I'm gonna have to try this out, see if it works for me. Hopefully it do. Hopefully it do. And I got me some more foundation because I'm trying out my foundation. Um, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I got 440C. Hopefully this is my color, bro. Because I could not remember my color. Every time I have to re-up on foundations and stuff, I'll be like, I don't remember my color. I don't know what I, I have. I'm actually gonna see if this is the right color. <laughs> Let me see. Oh no, y'all, I got the wrong color. I got the wrong color. Freak. So I got 440C and mine is 490W. How did I get, it? that is so off. Oh my god, I was so sure. <laughs> 490W. Oh my god. Okay, so this is gonna have to go back. Cause that's completely wrong. I'm not even gonna open this again. Gotta go back. There's my Okay, it's gonna back. Alright, yeah. This is going back. Well, yeah, I'm probably just gonna exchange it out. Oh, I had ran by Bed Bath and Beyond because so I on Facebook, my hometown people were saying the Bed Bath and Beyond was going out of. Look, I said out of stock. Was um closing, was going out of business. So I thought maybe ours was going out of business. You know how like they shut down multiple stores in the state and type stuff. So I'm over here hoping. <laughs> that sounds so bad, but I'm hoping it's going out of business because I'm I'm trying to get stuff for the low. You feel me? They still fully in business, you know, everything very expensive. <laughs> but um, I did end up leaving with a foot spa. Cause I've been like really liking to soak my feet after work. I really like, I'm getting to that age where like, mama need to smoke, <laughs> mama need to soak her feet. Okay. Baby is hurting. <laughs> So yeah, I got a little something to treat myself when I get off of work. You feel me? And this was thirty dollars. And I went to Walmart, got a couple groceries. I ain't gonna say that. My business. But um, the only other little gadget thing I got was this kettle, this like um, electric kettle thingy to um keep my water for my tea. So I can stop, um, cause I really just been putting it through my Keurig. 
I feel like I should stop doing it. I just feel like I should stop doing it. So, because I got a little really good problem. But yeah, that's really all I got for real. Um, I'm gonna, I had stopped by my Mexican, my little Mexican restaurant, got me some food to go because like I said, I am now on color code. So I didn't want to get tempted to drink a margarita, you know, get it, you know, in my vibe. And here I got stuff to make a margarita, which is like a faux margarita, you know, which I, I'll actually show y'all. I'm going to make one. I'll show you how I make it. Put in my little my little wine glass. All my glasses are dirty. I literally have one clean one over here. But yeah, I'll probably just show y'all how I make that real quick. And then I'm going to just sell it, eat, you know, chill. That'll probably be the end of the video. So let me show y'all my faux margarita. Margarita or faux margarita? Tell me which one y'all like because... I be saying margarita, but it be sound like, I don't know. It be sound like I'm just saying margarita wrong. <laughs> So that concludes this video. Just a little, you know, quick update on what's going on with me. And a little, you know, shopping haul. But I am about to be back full force. Cannot wait to see you guys in the next one, okay? Please subscribe if you found your way to this channel. I am your girl, Lo, okay? You will love it here. I promise it's it's gonna go up so be a day one okay or day two day three where whenever you coming in you better stay baby we on the come up all right you heard it here first but um thank you guys for watching um i will see you next time please like the video if you like the video i love you have a good day <laughs>